Hello there guys, welcome to Swinging Steve's Bargain Beer Reviews. Now, what do we have today? I'm quite excited about this one. I'm quite excited about this one. And it's Marsden's 61 Deep. Now, um, you might be thinking, well, what, what, what's, so, what's so exciting about uh, Marsden's 61 Deep? Well, nothing really, I suppose. Let, let, let's, let's be honest, Marsden don't brew the best beer anymore. However, on cask, um, or bro the brother best bottled beer, shall we say? On cask, uh, their beer sometimes can be a different animal. And I remember when I was uh, when I was a young lad, when I was um, probably mm, just getting into realers, maybe there were a few there were a few real uh, ale pubs in Sheffield, and one of them was called the Cocked Hat in Attercliffe. So if anybody's watching this, they'll remember that. I don't think it exists anymore. And they used to have Marston's beer on there, and they used to be lovely, really well kept beers. Really, really nice, well kept, um, sessionable uh, pints of uh, of bitter, you know. Uh, proper, proper working class beer, I suppose. You know, like steel workers beer, I, I guess you would call it. Uh, and some people, I suppose, would disregard that now. Uh, now with all these in continental hops, and probably say, no, nah, it's, it's not what it used to be. They came back, I think, Marston. And now I had this on cask probably about oh, five. It was the last. It was the last um, Lions tour. I had this, so it would have been four years ago, exactly nearly. Uh, and I remember having the 61 Deep on cask. And I was really, really impressed. In fact, I don't think I had it on cask. I think I might have even had it on keg. Uh, either way, it was it was really nice, really nice. I don't know what it comes in at. It comes in at 4.1%. Um, it's pale ale, but it's got some continental hops in it. And, and this is a really good example of when Marsden get it right. Because... They've managed to create a beer that's sessionable, that's got some fruity hops in it, uh, that's still relatively, it's got that malt, it's got that Marsden backbone to it, but at the same time, it's got something a little bit different for us. Um, the problem with the bottle beers, I think, they're over carbonated. So, like, Pedigree is supposed to be bottle conditioned, um, but, like, I remember having Old Roger, and it, I was really put off by how gassy it was. And that used to be a cracking pint. And I'm pretty sure that used to be conditioned at one time. Anyway, I digress. Let's get on with the beer, shall we? Anyway, those people that are new to my channel, uh, I review, I review bargain beer. So this came in at £1.50. Uh, and this was from, uh, ooh, McCall's. McCall's uh, local tech, uh, shop. At the moment, McCall's are doing similar to Tesco. So uh, four beer. They used to do uh, three beers for five quid. But they've gone to four beers for six quid. Uh, which is a little bit, which is marginally cheaper. Um, yeah, I think I don't know how long it's going to last for. I think it might just be a, 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 a just be a temporary thing. But this was in there. This was in there. There's also some Adams beers, not Adams, um, oh, Bateman's beers, which um, which was good to see. Oh, it, it's still there. That Zaz. Now I'm not going to lie. It smell it, the aroma is similar to Shipyard IPA, which is also brewed by Marsdens, of course. But um, lemons, that zestiness, a little bit of pink grapefruit. A little bit of um, like a blood orange or something in there as well. Really nice, really zangy, 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 zangy. Even a word? I don't think it is, but there we go. So there we go. I've got my uh, heathen American pale ale glass from Abbeydale. Listen, people have said, "Oh, you false advertising, all this rubbish." Every glass I ever got a, a, a name, and I do try and rotate them quite a lot. But Abbeydale Brewery in Sheffield, cracking brewery. Let's see what she looks like. And so we've got a, a pale colour, pale. Almost straw to slightly amber colour. We've got about a finger's worth of slightly off-white head. Roma smells good. Yep, smells nice that. Yeah, I like it. Still got that lovely, that lovely, um, lovely like lemony, zesty, slightly grapefruity aroma. That's it really. Nothing much other than that, and there's a little bit of that yeast, I think, maybe, that Marsden's used behind it all. Let's dive in. And I still really like that. Yeah. Orangey, a little bit peachy on the taste. A little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of lemon. Um Almost like that sort of um, gingery spiciness on the back end. 
Uh, then you've got the maltiness of the, of the master beer, and I think I think it complements this style of beer really, really well. I really do these the hops that they've used in it. It really complements the the sort of backbone, it, it, and it gives it like a nice sort of slight caramel biscuit backbone, which is a rather pleasant drinking experience. I still really like that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It doesn't taste particularly thin. I think the body's spot on. I think the carbonation is quite nice in this one. I think they've done well. I was a bit, I was dreading the carbonation. You could argue that, no, I think that's all right. I mean, you look at that nice gentle carbon bubbles going up there. I think that's fine. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. But it might be hard to find the difference between that and Shipyard IPA, actually. A bit more malty, this one. I think a bit more of a malt profile to it. Let's see what it says on the bottle, shall we? Let's see what it says on the bottle. 61 deep, pale oil, 61 meters. Uh, that's the depth of the well at the brewery that gives this refreshing pale ale its name. The five American and Australian hops give it a, its fresh, zesty aroma, whilst the tropical fruit citrus notes make an, it extremely drinkable. Dive in. I, I agree. I would have to agree with most of the stuff on there. Yeah. Um, I think they've described the beer quite well. They've not gone into specific fruits. Australian hops. I'm almost certain the Galaxy hops in there. It's, you get that peachiness of the Galaxy hop. Possibly a Citra uh, or a Cascade hop in there. Um, yeah. And it's just giving you loads of information about the. The brewery in Burton on Trent, and then that, and yeah, and, and that's it. Like I say, I, I had a, the story behind this beer is that I had it about five, four or five, four years ago, and I remember it was a work stew, and my dad's, one of my dad's mates were, it was his birthday, or workmates. I think he, my dad quit his job by then, I can't remember. The beer was just hanging on. I used to work in steelworks, my dad, in a place called Shardlow's. Shardlow's one of them places that everyone knew each other, and, and not, not that everybody knew each other, but like, he'd go on holiday. And there were always somebody from Shardlow's when we went on holiday. No, even when we went to Filey, which is quite close, you could, you could expect that. But even when we went to Cornwall or Scotland or something, and we'd be like, we'd be walking down on a cobbled street or something, and we'd be like, Greg, Greg, Graham, 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 and we'd be like, my dad'd be like, oi, it's Charlie, it's Charlie, let me have a word with Charlie, let me have a word. And it was always quite interesting because sometimes some of the people that he'd talk to, it would either, he'd have a good conversation with her, it'd be like a bit of an uncomfortable silence. I could go, all right, Charlie. And Charlie would go, yeah, all right, Graham. You having a good time? Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Right, nice seeing you. I'll see you next time. See you at work. <laughs> and that'd be it. But then other times it'd be like, it'd, it'd, be, it'd, it'd talk to him for quite a long time. But he always used to know somebody, always somebody. Like, wherever we went on holiday, always wearing a Sheffield Wednesday shirt, you know what I mean? Or a United shirt. Mm. So, yeah, anyway, that's my story about... Um, now that's got nothing to do with this beer at all. But anyway, we, we went we went, walk, went on a pub crawl around Sheffield. And I remember drinking the first one we had. And it went, where did we have it? At Howard, I think. Is it Howard? Across from the station? Might be Howard. I can't remember. Anyone watching if you want to add. Um, yeah, it's got some decent lace into it. I remember drinking, we had a pint of it. And it was really refreshing. I thought, oh, this is really good. This is a really nice beer to open up on. Uh, and yeah, though, those hoppiness. So there's, a, there's, a, there's a slight pininess in this as well, actually. But it, they, they, they are quite, um, yeah, they are quite present in this beer. So I don't think they've gone skimpy on the hops here, Marsden. I think it's a good beer. I think I think it's good. One fifty, at five five. What we're we getting five hundred mils. I really like that beer. I like that beer enough. Um, what, what what would I score it? I think it's an excellent beer for the price. I, it's it's in the eights. It is in the eights that because there's nothing really that wrong with it. Um, what would I improve maybe um, could give the beer a bit more body possibly I, 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 and the it's a pale ale uh, I think it's one of those maybe if I drunk a few more I'd start noticing it wearing a bit thin uh, so, yeah it's sort of a little bit watery it's, it's, it's got that sort of mass produced edge to it I suppose I'm going to give that an 8.3 out of 10. It gets an 8.3 out of 10. There's nothing wrong with that. And for £1.50, it's very refreshing. And it's kind of one of them drinks you can drink any any time. Mmm. Very nice. Very nice. 
That's what I'm going to say on that one. I'm not going to drink the whole thing in front of you because I, I haven't got much more to say today. And what I have got to say usually is a load of nonsense. So yeah, I've been Swinging Steve, so please subscribe if you like my channel, but if you don't, don't bother. Uh, if you don't like it, if you think it's rubbish, give me a thumbs down if you think I'm rubbish, but it'd be nice to, give you a, it'd be nice to get a thumbs up if you do like my material, support the channel, that'd be fantastic. Thanks to all those people that do watch my channel. Thanks to all those people that comment. I do try and answer everybody's comments if I can. Um, I do really appreciate it. And I like to hear what people have got to say about beers anyway. And that's why I do the channel. All right. So anyway, thanks everybody. I'll see you on the next review. Bye.